What's up marketers? Welcome back to our YouTube channel where we talk about all things Facebook ads. My name is Sydney and I am the co-founder and media buyer at a Vertex Marketing Agency where we help e-commerce brands scale their Facebook and Instagram advertising. And today I wanna to show you from A to Z how you can spy on your competitors so you can ultimately make better Facebook ads, Instagram ads, or even TikTok ads if you're on that platform. So stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna be showing you every single step and why I do each of these steps. And before we get started, you know the drill. Uh, if you don't already subscribe to our YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you learn anything new today and turn that little notification bell so you know when we come out with new videos, which is typically every single week, either by me or Cedric. So I'm actually gonna be showing you two, sort of three different ways that I go about finding competitors, looking at the ads that you're, they're running, and then how I'm going to build off of that ad and where I'm looking for them, okay? So let's dive right in. The first place that I'm gonna wanna go is to actually Google, okay? And you're gonna use that search bar to search up the keywords that are similar to the products that you're promoting as a brand. Now, as a business owner, you most likely should have an idea of who your main competitors are. They're most likely targeting the same audience, um, have a similar product, uh, maybe similar values, but obviously each business is unique. But as a business owner, you should know who your main competitors are. If you do not, you can head over to Google, put in your keywords of the products that you're selling, and then see, first of all, what brands are running Google ads, because typically what I see is that if they're running Google ads, they're most likely running Facebook ads, not in every single case, obviously, but it, you know, sometimes that happens. Um, but then also just looking at what other brands are out there that sell the same products that I do. Okay, so, you know, whether it's area rugs or it's skincare or um, I don't know, towels, you can see what brands are here running ads or have high domain authority and they're showing up first on Google and make sure that they are in a similar industry, okay? So like, for example, I wouldn't, if you're a smaller brand selling, you know, alpaca fur towels and you come on here and you think Ikea is a competitor, hmm, I feel like those are, aren't really the same caliber. Um, and so really try to look for other brands that are similar to yours and have the same values, same demographic and same target audience. Okay, so for this example, I'm actually gonna pretend that what I'm searching up is companies that sell area rugs. Okay, so I sell like you know doormats and area rugs to go inside of the house. That's my company, okay? Now, I could go here, look at you know Bed Bath & Beyond and different companies here that are selling area rugs and see, first of all, their website. Um, but then also what you're gonna wanna do when you get to their website is scroll all the way down to the bottom of their page. And you'll see these little icons over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click up Facebook. This will bring you to their page. Again, here you wanna make sure that they are a real competitor. And then you're gonna come down here and see page transparency. Click the see all. And then if you see this page is currently running ads, you know that they're actually running ads at the moment. And then this is gonna bring you to ad library. And this is essentially a place where you're going to see all the ads that your competitors are running on Facebook and Instagram at the moment and when they started. Okay, now you could go directly to ad library and just search up your competitor, but sometimes that name here is not the same um, like say Ruggable, for example, sometimes it's like the official rug company, but their actual just name is like Ruggable. So I like to go to their Facebook page first um, and then open up their ad library. Okay, another uh, great brand that I know is Chillowitch. I know that they sell rugs as well. And so I'm gonna open up their Facebook page. I'm gonna go down to page transparency and then go to, yes, this page is currently running ads. Now I have two brands that I know sell air rugs and doormats, and I can go see the ads that they're currently running. So let's start with Chillwitch. 
Um, and ultimately the reason you're going into ad library is to get an idea for the creatives that they're running. Okay, we all know that creatives are the most important thing that you should be you know, focusing on with whatever kind of ads that you're running, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. So you're able to go in here and see the creatives that they're running. Okay, so we have, um, you know, video format. And then we can also see the kind of text that they're running. Now, again, I'm showing you Facebook first. I'm actually gonna show you TikTok afterwards and how you can go see ads there. So don't forget to stick around there. But I wanna show you what I'm mainly looking at here. I'm looking at the format that they're running, what type of formats, so like videos or images and the kind of content that they have inside of these creatives. So we have like, I see that they're using a lot of dogs. Okay, yeah, so we're using some dogs here. It's a video. Um, again, we have dogs over here. So like some tactics here that they're using is like definitely including animals. Um, and then I'm also looking at the type of text that they're using. So we have lots of reviews. Um, and just like I'm looking at the lingo and the type of wording that they're using to target this demographic, because if they are a competitor, they should be using similar, or they should be using um, words that really tailor to their audience. And you can sort of build off of that. So now let's go to Rugbull. I know this is another company that sells rugs, uh, a little bit different than Chilowich, but let's see what kind of ads that they're running. So again, we have videos. And one thing that I am gonna wanna make sure especially if um, this is like sort of relatable to you is you're gonna wanna make sure you are choosing the location that you want to see all of the ads in. So I'm just gonna choose the United States as that is typically where we're running ads for our clients. And let's go all ads and we're gonna press enter again. I just saw like a different language there. So I just wanna make sure it's relevant. And so I wanna see what they're doing here. Okay, they're using some like animated images. They have just like some still images. This is sort of like a user generated content style, which is great. Okay, and so you can see it's the type of formats that they're running and the style of creative can give you an idea of where you should start at. Okay, and not every competitor that you have might have, you know, amazing creatives. I know that these two examples I just give, they have really great creative and they're killing it. Um, but I want to make sure that if I'm going to be comparing what I'm doing with a competitor, I want to make sure that the competitor is actually doing, doing well. Now, the main thing that I like to look at is scrolling down really far to as far as you can and see what date these ads started running. The further a way that start date is, the more likely that this ad actually performed well. Because in the ads library, they're gonna show you the ads that are currently running and you can see the date. So launch October, 2021, okay? If these haven't been turned off yet and I still see them inside of the ads library, it's most likely because they're performing well, okay? So these are the things that I wanna be looking at over here. And at no point here am I saying that you should be copying any of your competitors or that you should be stealing their ideas. But I mean, don't reinvent the wheel, right? You want to be taking ideas and tailoring it to your own brand to ideally make it better than your competitor and to showcase what you have to offer even better than them. So we've just looked at the Facebook ad library. That is one way. Second way is to go into Google and type up keywords and see who is running Google ads and, and see like, are they also running Facebook ads and what are they doing? So another way that you can spy on your competitors is by actually going to the TikTok ad library. It's very similar to the Facebook ad library, but of course the way that you search up things here is going to be a little bit different. Of course, you know, the ad platform for TikTok is a lot newer than Facebook advertising. So there are like maybe some bugs or things aren't filtered out, you know, super, super well, but it gives you a really, really great idea. Now, unlike Facebook ad library, you can actually go in here and search up a brand. Um, it doesn't have that good of a filter. And also not every single brand um, is running TikTok ads. Unlike like, most large brands are going to be running Facebook ads because it's been around for a lot longer, right? 
but TikTok is a lot newer. So what you're gonna wanna do here is go to ads on tiktok.com. If you already have a um, TikTok account, I don't believe that it actually works here. You have to create a new one. So I actually use like my business email, but you're gonna wanna go over to the TikTok ad library. And then you have a few sort of tabs up here. We got trend discovery, if you're looking for different trends, showcases, but what we're interested in here is top ads. Then you're gonna go and you're gonna toggle down to which location is most relevant for you. So I've chosen United States. Since we were using rugs and carpets as an industry, um, as an example, I've used home decor, but you can see that there are a ton of different industries that you can choose from to see what kind of ads that they're running. And then I've gone down to home decor as well. Um, and then you can choose the uh, type of event that they were optimizing for. So we have app installs, conversions, lead generation, reach traffic, or video views. I am most interested here in conversions as um, if you're following best practices on Facebook, typically you are gonna be running a conversions campaign. And so I wanna be comparing, you know, people who are running conversions campaigns on TikTok so that I can get an idea of like, ad creatives that convert because an ad creative for a traffic campaign or for a video views campaign can perform differently than an actual conversions campaign. So I'm gonna choose conversions here and then I'm just gonna go here and uh, the last one here is uploaded, creative toolkit and others. I'm just gonna leave it open there so it shows all of them. Then it's going to pull up a list, a long list of all of the top ads that are currently running. And you can sort it by uh, the amount of reach that these ads got, the amount of engagement, or the six second views rate. Okay, so these are three different metrics that you can be looking at. And then the last thing here is either choosing in the last seven days or in the last 30 days. And then you can get an idea of the type of creatives that they're running and you can build your creativity off of what you see here. What I love about the TikTok ad library is typically what's gonna perform well on TikTok will also perform well on Facebook ads, but it's not necessarily vice versa. What works on Facebook won't necessarily perform super well on TikTok, which is a really interesting concept, but I love to take ideas from the TikTok ad library and then implement them as well for Facebook. So. What I can see here um, is that there's a lot of user generated content. Um, they're using native text editing tools and transitions to um, like the TikTok platform. And then if you want to learn more about that ad, you actually click it up. You can see where it's been running, the industry, um, what format it is, how many comments, shares, likes, and then you can see the most impactful um, sort of points in this video. And you can get an idea of how should I be structuring my content so that I can also get similar results or I can be on this top ads list. Now, again, I did want to mention here that in no way, shape or form should you be directly copying and using the exact same words, exact same transition, exact same format as your competitors, okay? That's gonna be a little bit weird. Um, and although this is a legal, free way of spying on your competitors, you want to add your own little you know, branded twist and your own features to your own videos and to your content to make it original, okay? Make sure you keep that in mind that it has to be original. You can stem your ideas from your competitors, um, you know, from looking at them on Google, seeing what they're doing there, looking at their website, going to their Facebook page, opening their Facebook ad library, and then also looking at the top ads on TikTok to get an idea of what you can be doing as a brand for your Facebook or TikTok creatives, and also the captions that your competitors are using. Ultimately, you want to be better than, comp your, than your competitor in the best way possible. And so again, at no point should you ever copy but you also don't need to reinvent the wheel, right? So let me know if you learned anything new in this video. I love that TikTok came out with this feature, um, this ad library, I think it's super helpful. And also I love that we can see inside of everyone's um, 
Facebook ads as well that they're currently running. So let me know if you learned anything new, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We release new videos every week. And if you ever have any issues with your Facebook or TikTok creatives, let us know in the comment section below. Alternatively, you can join our new marketing forum slash platform called Coffee and Marketing. And you can ask any question that you want about the marketing topic, go any platform and you are guaranteed to get an answer from a marketing expert. Essentially, this is like a private Facebook group like we had before. We will soon be shutting that one down and just transitioning right over into coffee and marketing so that more people can, can get access to it and that we can help out more people. So go create an account. Coffee and marketing is completely free and start your conversation there and we'll get back to you in the comments. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys have an awesome day and we'll see you in the next one.